was that it was just the worst I've ever been. And everyone that knew me kind of started seeing that. And I didn't have that sparkle in my eye and I was depleted and drained and just, I wasn't myself, but I was trying to fake it and smile and act like everything was great. And people could see right through that. And that's what I think a lot of people reading this book, you know, because they think, you know, she's on the hill, she's new beginnings, like her life is great, you know, even though people might hear little things throughout the years, it's different than hearing it in your own words. Yeah, and everything that was out there on TMZ and in the press and, you know, TMZ would get information from the courthouse before I even, it was public before I even got in my car from the courthouse and it's everywhere. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, let me process this and feel it before I'm being judged and everybody knows, like, let me breathe for a second. But I, you know, you just learn how to deal with it. And I think um, I had a lot of support and a lot of love. And, you know, then there's tabloids of accusing me of things. And it's like, you guys have no idea, like, you know, a third of what's been going on. So, you know, I clear a lot of that up in the book as much as I can. Um, but yeah, that's all in there. What is, was there one thing in particular that kind of, you know, like, look, there's a lot of people listening to this that you're probably helping that are, are in relationships like this, yeah. that just can't get out. Like, what was like, do you have, do you have a final straw or that you were just like, wait, I see the light. Yeah. You know, for me, um, I was in that off and on relationship for, for way too long, but whenever I got pregnant, that was the first year that we were consistently together. And then once I had my daughter, that really opened my eyes and I wasn't living for myself anymore. It's like I had purpose and my purpose is to protect this little girl and make sure that she is taken care of and she's happy and like, she's not around toxic things. So um, for me, it was my daughter. And then also, you know, growing up and going to church, I just felt so depleted and I just started going to church and I got into a small group and that really helped me. And I stayed focused on the positive and, and, and getting out of it. And then it's okay to get divorced, you know, cause I grew up in a family where you don't get divorced, you stick it out and you make it work no matter what. Um, so that was really hard for me too, to make that decision. Well, you should have grown up in my family because you would have gotten divorced like on the second day and you would have been like, <laughs> let's move on, honey. Do you think like getting in that relationship, and of course I'm not judging, like did, you know, why do you ever, I mean, I'm sure you worked it all out now, but like, what well, was being on the Hills or TV or famous, like, do you think that added to that, you know, like losing yourself? Yeah, I think I was just looking for security and it was so hard to date new people at that time because the show is so big and we had so many people in and out of our lives that were using us and lying to us and just getting information. And it was hard to trust anyone. And, and with my ex, I felt like I felt safe with him. I felt secure with him and like nobody was going to mess with me or hurt me. And with him, it was like, there is safety. And I think I like latched on to that because of what I had been through and just with being famous and having random people show up at my door or, you know, being, I had stalkers. It was like, there was so many layers to that. And with my ex, you know, we had so much fun. And when the show ended, um, I really got to embrace our relationship and go to Australia with him and embrace his life. So it was kind of nice. And I just, I don't, I'm a person that doesn't like a lot of change, but I embrace it. But once I feel safe and it's like a secure kind of routine, which slowly became toxic and I adapted to it, which was very unhealthy. I just stuck it out, which is not good. It's not good. And you don't realize it's toxic when it's, yeah. you know, like at least now it seems like you, but some people never get there, which is. Yeah, I know. And like you, I've done so much healing and I went to so much therapy, which I'm still in, you know, and I've done a lot of like, just thought provoking, like spiritual work on myself with going to church and also just like with Reiki and energy clearing and learning how to meditate and control 
those triggers that come up when my heart like starts getting beating out of my chest because something might trigger me that I've been through in the past. Like there's a lot of work that I've done on myself. Do you fear like going back there, you know, like having done all this work, like, can you say, well, it's no, never, like I would never go back there. Oh, not, not, no, 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 not with this person, but like, do you fear that like that's still in you or is it like, no, like I got that is gone. And I think it's totally gone because I haven't dated anyone in over three years. So I'm finally ready to open my heart and like start dating. Like I'm open to love now, but I had to do all that healing on myself before I could be open to that. And now I'm not dating for myself anymore. I have a daughter, so it changes everything. Well, as far as dating, like just physically, I mean, you are, you know, you've dated some famous people before, you know, Chris Pine, Ryan, like Justin Bobby, like what, just who physically is your type, you know, in Hollywood, people that we (laughs) might know. Um, I have the biggest, so I've been watching The Last Kingdom and Uhtred is like everything, (laughs) but I know he's a Viking. It's not realistic, Um, but if I could find myself in Uhtred, that'd be great. (laughs) Do you like, where do you date? Like, are you, do you get fixed up? Are you on the websites? Do you slip into people's DMs? I haven't. I'm just getting into this. I've never been on any dating um, websites or anything like that. But a lot of my friends are like, I have someone I want to set you up with, you know, he's like 48 or he's 50 and he has, he's divorced. He has kids, you know, he's really successful or, or it's always through mutual people. And it's like, am I really ready? Should I just go on that date? Um, So I'm just getting into it. Well, what about, you know, we have Brody, we have (laughs) Justin Bobby. I mean, can't we, can't we revisit some of these people? I mean, Brody has a girlfriend um, and we film our podcast together. Frankie is so funny about always calling us out and how we should be together. And our chemistry is so natural and we're like best friends, but we can talk and we get in debates, but we can figure it out. You know, we respect each other. So I don't know. There's like that. And then Justin, I still talk to from time to time. We check in on each other. I feel like he's someone that I'll always have love with or love with love for love with. What am I saying? I'll always have love for Justin. And and he says the same thing, but he's a nomad and he loves to travel and he doesn't like, I don't know. I'm a very, with my daughter, it's like, I need a structured routine and I can't be that spontaneous anymore and just go places on a whim, you know, like we're here for school. Like I have, my life is different. So it's hard with these guys I've dated in the past because I have a different life than they do. And it's hard too, because they don't know what it's like to have a child and to be a single mom. Well, I'm with Frankie on this one. I mean, (laughs) you know, I know Brody has a girlfriend, but you know, maybe one day he won't. And there is something about there you are, your friends forever. I mean, do you think ever like that could ever happen? I don't know. I guess it's all about timing, right? I don't know. I don't know. I guess never say never. (laughs) I I say never say never. (laughs) 